Hey, we're up at Mount Blackmore today. We made it up thanks to a bunch of folks who cleared the trail from a ton of trees that were blown down by extreme winds that we had a couple weeks ago. The snowpack up here hasn't changed a whole lot uh, since we were up here two to three weeks ago. We still have these soft sugary facets down near the bottom of the snowpack. They're capable of producing big persistent slab avalanches. We haven't seen slides of, of that type in this area for a couple weeks and without much recent snow or a lot of snow in the forecast, the likelihood of triggering those has gone down. But the possibility still remains. <clears throat> so if you are starting to get into avalanche terrain, whether it's crossing below steep slopes or skiing or riding on steep slopes, dig down to look for and assess this weak layer. If it's there and you're worried about it, find different terrain and consider choosing slopes that smaller, smaller terrain where avalanches won't be as big or slopes that are free of terrain traps like trees, cliffs, or gullies where consequences of a slide would be increased. So you can hedge your bets by doing that. And then also keep in mind some of this snow that's trickling in, maybe drifted into fresh wind slabs on wind loaded slopes. And that's an additional concern to uh, keep an eye out for. And stay tuned to mtavalanche.com for the most up-to-date conditions.